guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Chloe. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about some MD's products that I've used up for this month. For anybody that hasn't really watched um, my videos before, haven't come across this, I literally just talk about products that I have used up completely. Um, talk about what I liked, what I didn't like about the product, and if I would repurchase, and if I'd recommend. I personally really like to watch these videos. I find it quite interesting what people have actually used up and what they do think of it, because sometimes a first impressions is completely different to a final thoughts. I have filmed a tutorial on this makeup look here. It will either be up before or after this video, but it is filmed for you, so keep an eye on my channel. And as always, I will pop all of the products that I used on my face down in the description box below for you, and I will pop my social media handles in there if you would like to see more of me, um, not just on YouTube. My handle is ChloeKH across all platforms. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Okay, so to start things off, I've got my Cool Delay, um, I was going to say eye cream, but this is a face cream. This came in a set that I got for Christmas, um, so you could purchase the Cool Delay Vinyl Perfect Serum for the same price as the set with two more products, like um, travel size products, so I of course got the set. So it came with this um, Brightening Moisturiser Day Cream, and it came with the eye cream as well. Um, I think that it's a nice product, um, it goes on the skin very nicely um, and it smells quite nice as well but I mean it is just that it's a nice product whereas I want a product that's going to give me like glass skin um, and I don't feel like this product achieves that for me. There are other moisturisers that I value much more than this one. Um, I wouldn't avoid purchasing it if it was in the Cool Delay set with this serum um, as like a little freebie um, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this in full size so um, it's not something that I would technically repurchase um, as a single product and there are other face creams out there that I would recommend. Next I've got this um, Benefit foundation so I believe that this is discontinued um, this is the um, Hello Wow, Hello Oxygen Wow something foundation it was such a mouthful and I'd say it on the counter and then they came out with Hello Happy that kind of overtook it um so when we were transitioning transitioning between the foundations um anybody that was using this one we would colour match to Hello Happy um as they did have colours very similar to this um I've had this for quite a while um, I do find that um, the Benefit foundations do oxidise, so I could never really wear them in my pale state. Um, this one is in Champagne, and I would use this for when I fake tanned. And I do think that is it is a nice product. I mean, if it matched you, it did look really nice. It would look really dewy, um, really glowy and natural. I mean, when I have used this um, when I've had a tan and I've gone into work I've had a lot of compliments about how glowy that I do look um, there are other foundations out there of course um, that can achieve that I do want to get a darker shade in my beautiful skin foundation from Charlotte Tilbury um, as I am tanning a bit more um, I'm kind of on the in-between stage at the moment where it is coming off and I haven't bothered to tan my face with the drops um, so I am a little bit in between. It's not really a project that I can repurchase or recommend because um, they no longer sell this um, but I'm not a fan of the Hello Happy foundation that's its sort of replacement um, so I guess that I wouldn't repurchase another Benefit Cosmetics foundation. I do want to try the new MAC one, um, I want to try the Laura Mercier one that's going viral there are others that I would put above this but um, I do like this formula. Um, next I have this Jeffree Star um, Velour Lip Scrub. This takes ages to get through. It's such, it's just filled to the brim. Um, how much product is actually in here? So I can't really... Um so you get 30 grams of product in here and he has so many different flavours. Um, they are safe for you to sort of lick off but I just wipe off and I pop a little bit just to get all the dead skin off my lips um, and then I'll sort of just wipe off with a face halo. Um, this is the flavour Blue Raspberry Sucker. Um, he has so many different flavours um, and I would 
recommend this product to anybody that does have quite dry lips that suffers with sort of cracked lips um i do in the winter but having this product and of course i always wear a lip balm um i just feel like my lips are constantly um hydrated so um now that i am out of it i will be repurchasing another one and having a look at the other flavors that he's brought out but i think this is a really really nice product it's not really harsh on the lips it's not too gritty um as it is um i believe it is like a sugar scrub it's just a really nice soft texture that does get off the dead skin um so yeah i do really really like this next i've got a fragrance um i've got this snow fairy spray here um this isn't really travel friendly um, I would prefer it in like a little perfume bottle as opposed to a sprayer because this just looks like cleaning product um, but the actual scent is heavenly um, if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that Snow Fairy is my favourite scent um, I have the bubble baths, the bath bombs I've got the body lotion um, whatever they come out with I buy um, and Jake got me a massive massive shower gel that costs close to 40 pounds um and he got me another one of these so um really really happy that i have a backup now that this one is virtually empty it is a gorgeous um well sweet scent it smells like candy it smells like pear drops it is a very sort of um fairy princess like sugar plum scent and i just love that it is my everyday fragrance um i do switch to something a bit more elegant if i'm going for like a dinner or um like an evening um but this is my signature everyday scent i can't remember how much the fragrance is um by itself i'm not sure if it's anywhere between 20 to 30 pounds you do get 200 mils of product in here and um, it is a nice sort of spray bottle you do get quite a lot of product that comes out when you spray and um, as it is more of like a big spritz um i do pair this with um i have a shower with the body um shower wash and i put on the um lotion and then i put this spray on and i just smell like snow fairy all day i'll just like if i like move my arm i'll just get a waft of snow fairy it's just a gorgeous long lasting scent and i do get a lot of compliments on it and um, the only downside to the snow fairy is that you can only get it around christmas time i think it comes to lush around september um so if you haven't tried snow fairy and you are intrigued then at the end of this year go to your local lash shop and just have a have a spray it's just so so gorgeous next i've got my glow hub intro into acids if anybody's watched my recent sort of skincare videos or hauls you'll see that i picked this up uh, in november time last year um i do really really like these um this came with a set of four um so you've got got the um hydration hero just here um you've got the glow giver you've got the um barrier builder and then you've got the scar slayer so each of these you would use for um a particular reason so of course this one's supposed to give you a gorgeous glow um made to make your skin look um brighter more even and then the hydration here is of course to um give you um an immense amount of hydration um the, this one is to help rebuild your moisture barrier um sometimes we go a bit too hard with any acids and our skin really feels it and like purges and takes it out on us i feel like this one really restores your skin i had a massive flare-up in october when i used a product um it was quite a harsh percentage of toner and this really calmed my skin down um as i was just completely i look like a reptile on the bottom half of my face um, and then of course you've got the scar slayer which is supposed to help with any um get rid of any sort of dark spots and um any scars acne scars left over and um, it really helps heal the skin 
So I have repurchased in a full size the Hydration Hero and the Scar Slayer um, as I feel like I needed those products more. Um, I would use the Hydration Hero sort of morning or morning and night if I needed it and the Scar Slayer in the evening. Um, this set I think that it's about £24 on the Glow Hub's website um, if you did want to try them out and see which ones you like. I have used these in minis before but I decided to um, go full size now as um, where well, you would have seen in a recent haul that um, they were on offer on Beauty Bay so I picked up Hydration Hero and Scar Slayer. I would recommend this brand and I would recommend these serums. Um, I think that they're very inexpensive and they really do the job. I've noticed uh, such a difference in using these um, and just the way my skin looks and feels. So next I've got some, um, well this is a scrub but it's um, for fake tan. So this is from the brand Rose and Caramel and it's the Purity Scrub. Um, so it looks grey and it's got like little black um, bits in it. It's not a very pretty looking scrub. Um, but this is supposed to be the world's first self-tan removing exfoliator. Um, I do have the U-tan um, like spray that you put all over your skin, you leave on um, and then you wash off and it's supposed to help break down your tan. I don't think that works. This one, um, I think that it's okay. I don't think that it's a brilliant product. Um, I don't think it's quite gritty enough to take off my my um, fake tan. I am a bit impatient and my friend who fake tans a lot more than me, um, she says to just soak in the bath um, and then to like scrub off. I have tried that, um, but I don't know. I just, I might come back to it. I might try it again um, after I've had a bit more experience with tanning and taking it off. But for now I have bought um, a sugar scrub from TK Maxx that was about this size and it was about six pounds so a hell of a lot cheaper than this brand um, that I've been using the same sort of technique of just lying in the bath um, and once my skin is just kind of like well had a nice soak um, go in with the scrub and exfoliator gloves and I feel like that has helped take off my tan um, and then following on with um, moisturiser and then waiting and popping on some new tan. I do feel like um, that process is working for me um, as I found that my tan wasn't quite coming off as well with this and then I was adding more tan and you could just see those like patches because um, I was just so desperate to fake tan again. Um, so I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to see how I go with the scrub that I bought from TK Maxx. Um, and I guess just any sort of scrub would work. So I can't really recommend this product because I have bought something else to replace it with. And I can't actually remember how much that scrub was. I've had it for such a while because I I don't really fake tan on the regular. But I have tried to keep it up this past month. Next I've got a sheet mask here from Primark. Um, these were about 80p when I started using them. And now they've gone up to a pound. Um, inflation. Um, this one is the Soothing Coconut Lemongrass and Hyaluronic Acid Sheet Mask. I do like these. I use a sheet mask once a week. Um, I love to use a sheet mask within my weekly um, skincare routine. I also use a clay mask. Um, and I have done a massive haul from Yes Style where I've bought loads of Korean skincare products that I can't wait to try. Um, there is a viral skin um, well, sheet mask that's going around TikTok. It's from Biodance and it's um, almost like a jelly type sheet mask that you pop on um, and you leave on for hours. You can leave it on overnight and it starts off like a milky colour and it goes clear. You take it off and you just have glass skin. I want that. It's sold out everywhere but I will just throw my money at the first website that has it back in stock. I cannot wait to um, try that one as I just love a sheet mask. These ones they're okay. Um, I do buy them in bulk and I keep them in my fridge um, and they are nice to pop on. I don't leave them on for the full amount of time because I don't want them to fully dry out my face. Um, I take them off 
I rub them in around my um, face and neck just to get the most out of the serum in there and of course there is serum in the packet that I will pop um, sort of on my body or my hands or on my face as well um, just to get all the serum on my face they are very inexpensive and I do like that and because I use them once a week um, I will continue to use them. They have so many different ones, they've got a ginger one, they've got a vitamin C one. Um, I don't use the little clay packets that they've got or the peel off ones they've got, I do just prefer the sheet mask um, and I do love popping them in the fridge because they are so cold when they go on your face which I just feel is an added experience to like de-puff and de-stress. Um, I would recommend those sheet masks. I do really, really like them and I always buy them um, for myself and for uh, friends and family if I'm sort of doing a little gift basket or something. Um, so I did a haul, um, I think it was on Space NK and I could pick some samples. I wanted to try this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, this literally smells like, um, it's so strong. It almost smells like um, the dentist. It's very like minty. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the smell of it. Um, I feel like it mixed a little bit with my SPF, even though I'd waited enough time for my SPF to dry and pop this on top. It kind of, you could see a little bit of like milky where it had um, sort of mixed together. Um, I do think that this was a nice long lasting primer that my makeup did stay on all day and I did sort of use a setting spray as well. Um, I'm not sure whether I would buy this product and um, there are other primers that I do like that don't mix in with my SPF um, but I would possibly buy a mini to try it out um, to see how I feel as I only really had about two or three uses out of this to really stretch the product. I just wanted to pick this one up out of the samples that were there because it's just such a viral product um, and I remember an Amelia Olivia bundle that she did with Cosmotips and the primer was part of that and there were just so many products that I liked but I didn't end up getting that bundle um, and I wish that I did and um, so that's why I chose this one. It's hard because I can't really um, recommend it or because I haven't really had much of a use out of it but I think I would repurchase um, a mini just to see how I'd get on with it because it's such a viral product and I I wonder if they did uh, they do like a duo with the setting spray as I've just heard that the primer and the setting spray are just a magic duo so next I've got this revitalizing supreme um, plus uh, face cream from Estee Lauder this is pr I don't know if I'm like well I think that this is their most expensive face cream that you can buy from them as this is targeted more towards the age of 45 plus. Um, this does always come as part of the Blockbuster um, and this is where I got mine from and started using it from. I do like the cream, I think it's a very nice sort of thick um, cream that tailors to an older skin. Um, I do feel like I have to use a bit more to spread around my face, like I will pop my serum on and pop this on top and I feel like it really spreads the product around my face. Um, there are other products that I would repurchase over this one but um, I am happy whenever I see that it is part of the Blockbuster Skin Care set. I do have the day wear that I like to use in the day, so I kind of have a day and night. And I do really like the Estee Lauder Skin Care range, um, I love French Skin Care and I am going into more Korean Skin Care now. Um, but I do really like Estee Lauder and I would recommend them as a skincare brand. I do have a lot of favourites from them. I love their Night Repair range. Um, I love their Night Repair Serum. It is probably one of my favourite serums. And I do really like their eye cream from the Night Repair range as well. And speaking of, I do actually have an empty of this. So this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Gel Cream. I love this. This is so cooling when it hits the skin. Um, I just feel like it completely restores my eyes overnight even when I'm really really dry um, and my concealer doesn't look cakey or cracked or um, dry when I pop it on the next day because I do um, have a mini bake uh, with powder to set it. It is of course quite a pricey eye cream but I mean it is your under eye area, it's something that I would um, spend my money on and I will again and again and I do have one on the go from my blockbuster 
um, this just year's just gone blockbuster that Jake got me for Christmas. It came with a mini and a full size. Um, so I am currently using the mini um, as my night cream and I will be using the full size. Um, I would only use this at night, of course. Um, so I guess that it's not really a product that you can use for both day and night. Um, for a day cream for my eyes, um, I do quite like the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. Um, but this one for nighttime is just a very luxury, um, gorgeous under eye cream that I would recommend and that will always repurchase. It's one of my top three eye creams. I really like the as I said the Kiehl's one as well and I do like the Charlotte Tilbury one but I've heard that it does contain retinol so it's not suitable for all people um especially if you're sort of trying or you're pregnant um but I do like that that eye cream as well I haven't purchased it in a while but it is a gorgeous brightening eye cream so as I have touched on Estee Lauder I will include this advanced night repair serum as well um so for Christmas Jake got me the big one so this is um 30 mil and he bought me the 50 mil which i believe is over 100 pounds not too sure i think this one's around 70 or that one's around 70 i'm not sure but it is a very expensive serum and you also get one of these in the blockbuster as well so i am stocked up on my night repair i was so worried before christmas i would run out of this um because it is usually jake's mum and dad that get the blockbuster for myself um and the other ladies within the family and i didn't want to assume that i would get it um as i'm just grateful for any presents that i do get but i did want another one of these um so i was looking to possibly repurchase um in black friday sales in november um and jake could see that i really really wanted this product so he bought me the big one and he bought me the blockbuster himself um this is a product that i will recommend i have recommended to friends and family already and one of my favorite tricks of using this is mixing it in with foundation just a little bit um, to sheer out the foundation and the glow that it gives you um, the hydration that it gives you um, is just second to none I just love it so much um, so I would really recommend this and I will always repurchase this next I have this Christopher Robin or is Christoph Robin um, this is a cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt so you're supposed to um, pop this in your hair as a detoxifying um, shampoo so you can apply this once a week so you apply about a tablespoon size onto wet hair massage then emulsify rinse and follow with your sort of next shampoo and conditioner to thoroughly clean out the hair um, I do always use a double shampoo when I wash my hair anyway, so I feel like um, that step I already take to make sure that my hair is clean. Um, I did like the product, um, I did find that it was quite chunky, like you really have to concentrate on what you're doing um, when you're rubbing this into your hair and emulsifying the product and make sure that you are getting it out because it is quite gritty. Um, I don't think that I would repurchase this one. Um, just because of that gritty texture um, I had to thoroughly make sure that I was washing out of my hair like I didn't want any salt remaining in there um, but I would repurchase a detoxifying shampoo to use so at the moment I do use a double shampoo and then conditioner um, and I do have oils and serums and all sorts um, through my hair and I have purchased um, a rosemary oil to start hair oiling. So not this one I would recommend but I would recommend a detoxifying shampoo, I would recommend um, a double shampoo and then condition when you are washing your hair. So next I've got this Palmolive Naturals Coconut and Milk Shower Cream. Um, this is vegan as it use, uses plant-based milk. I usually get one of these in my stocking from my mum at Christmas and I believe this is from her. She always picks a coconut scent for me because it is one of my favourite scents to use in the shower. I love really fruity scents. Um, I do like this. Um, this was almost more like a gel than a cream, even though it does say that it's a shower cream. Um, I didn't feel like the scent was as long lasting as some of my other shower gels like Body Shop and Lush um, but it didn't irritate my skin um, and I did like the scent when I could smell it on my skin. 
it isn't a brand that I would go out and buy myself um, just because I do want a long lasting um, hydrating shower gel or cream. I tend to buy shower gels from Lush and um, they did do a shower cream called the Comforter um, that they just discontinued, they never brought back and it was just gorgeous. It smelled like black currants. Um, so that was probably like my favourite shower cream. Um, otherwise I do quite like Dove shower creams um, and I do... I don't really buy um, cheaper brands of shower gels but I do like shower creams as they are really sort of um, hydrating um, and I do like to use those more in the bath. Um, I mean I'll probably get another one of these for Christmas from my mum and I will use it but it's not something that I would go out and repurchase, I would um, buy the body shop, I just prefer those products more. So next I have um, another fragrance here, this one is from Estee Lauder and this one is called Modern Muse Nui. It's a gorgeous colour to it, it's like um, a really nice foresty green and this, it just, it, like how I said earlier how I use my Snow Fairy for the day and I prefer a more elegant scent for the night. This is that elegant scent. It's woody. Um, it's just like old money smell. Um, very elegant, expensive. Um, I do really want to get the Kayali fragrances. I do want to try them out. Um, I haven't actually got a stockist in Hereford that um, has the bottles for me to test and spray on myself but I have got my eye on Vanilla 82 is it and the Pistachio Gelato and there's another one that has like sparkles on it that everyone talks about. Um, so I do want to give that brand of perfume a go as it's just so popular. Um, but this one I do really really like. This one um, I do wear in the winter, um, in the evening and I do get a lot of compliments on it when I wear it as well. I can't remember how much it was as I've had that one for quite a while um, but it is a high-end fragrance um, so it would be a higher price tag. Next I've got some La Roche-Posay. Um, this is the SPF um, and it's got factor 50 protection against UVB and UVA rays. Um, I do like this one, it's the very lightweight milky fluid and um, it is very liquidy so you have to be very careful when you're popping it out. It does have the little ball in there to uh, break up the product um, before it comes out. Um, I like this one, I like to take it on holiday as it is very lightweight. Um, it is one that you do have to um, reapply um, as it does have quite a thin texture to it. Um, I have been using the Glow Hub um, SPF which is a bit of a thicker texture that I do like um, but I feel like I will always go back to the La Roche-Posay one and I do tend to get it when it's on offer. I think this is anywhere between 20 and 30 pounds if I'm correct um, but it is a really nice product and you get 50 mils of product in here. So next I've got another sample. Um, I've never heard of this brand but it's Verso and it's an eye cream. Um, it's one of those products that you sort of break from the middle and it comes out this bit. Um, I thought that this was quite a heavy eye cream. Um, I use this more at night as when I used it in the day. I just felt like it interfered with my concealer and the staying power. Um, there was quite a bit of product in here so I did get quite a few days of use. Um, but it's not something that I would repurchase or recommend. And then lastly I've got some Clarins oils here. So these are little sample sizes and these are the um, Blue Orchid um, Face Treatment Oil. So I really really like this Clarins oil. Um, I, I do think that it's very hydrating, it smells like a spa um, and it's the perfect prep for my makeup. This retails for about £40. Um, I was looking at purchasing it but the Blue Orchid was out of stock and they had another one, I can't remember what one it was, in stock on, it was either Sephora or Space NK, I can't quite remember. Um, and then I clicked onto Beauty Bay and saw that they had the Jeffree Star face oil, same size and that was about £26. So. I opted for the Jeffree Star face oil and I really really like that one, I use that morning and and I do believe the claim that he says that you could use it instead of moisturiser 
or on top of moisturizer for added hydration um, as I do feel like it is enough just the oil um, but of course I do use it with face cream and I have noticed a massive difference in my skin um, and just the way it looks it looks so glowy and soft and um, smooth um, under foundation and I have been getting a lot of compliments on my base um, However, I do really, really like this one, um, and if this one was ever on offer or in stock, um, I would repurchase this, as I do really like it. It's a really nice luxury oil. I do also like the Kiehl's oil as well, the Daily Reviving Concentrate. It is a bit of a lighter oil than this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to confuse anyone, but this is more of an oily oil, if that makes any kind of sense at all. I almost feel like it's going to be a bit too much before makeup, but for me, um, I can be quite dry, and... It just adds the perfect hydration to my base and um, so it is a face oil that I would recommend they do have a few different ones for different skincare types so I would have a look maybe go to your local counter get a little sample like this and see how you like it you could use it in the morning or you could use it in the evening um, I tend to use an oil morning and night as I am a bit more dry in my combination skin. I do like the brand Clarins. I haven't really um, purchased a lot from them. I remember purchasing a face cream from them in the past. It was a blue one. I can't remember what it was called, but I repurchased that a lot of times. I did really like it and I've just kind of forgotten about the brand, but they do have some really, really nice um, skincare items um, in particular and they do have nice lip oils as well.